Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're going to be talking about new things, or like tips for newcomers with East German uniforms. Because I was once in this position, and I didn't know what to do, and I bought the wrong stuff. Uh, I was like misled and stuff like that, and I really just don't want other people to do that, you know, or I have to go through that. Because it's very irritating, especially when you have a tight budget. So... Today, I'm going to talk about tips I have for newcomers with GDR uniforms. Again, this channel is mainly going to be focused around East German uh, military and uniforms and tips and tutorials about doing things. Like the last video was applying shoulder boards to my BDU. Uh, but this channel is only going to be, for right now, reviewing and talking about uh, East German military. So, starting off from left to right in my uniform... I have my M56 Stahlhelm, my BDU, my boots, my collar liner, forgot that, my overseas cap, my suspenders for your for the pants, and then my nylon belt, my belt for my gear, which is basically all this, my stern pack with the Sristan that goes around it, that's for the, for the summer stern pack. My canteen, my four cell mag pouch, my espit stove, my AKM bayonet type 2, and then my UTV uh, e-tool that I accidentally bought, not realizing that it was the wrong era e-tool. So, but that's what's in my uh, BDU so far, like my, my field kit. Uh, some of the things I probably don't realize until after I make this video are probably still on my shelf because I have a lot of stuff in my collection at the moment and I probably forgot to put a thing or two in this video for you but my apologies so I'm gonna talk about East German uniforms in this video obviously but I'm gonna talk about three things I'm gonna talk about uh, things about your East German uniform your stern pack and making sure that you get things right so that way like for example you don't get the size wrong so, what I'm going to talk about first is how whenever, I, I didn't do this because when I got my East German uniform, my first East German uniform, it was it's a parade uniform, I, like right when I got my uniform is right when I started getting into the Cold War. And I didn't really realize what needed to be done because it, because it was the first uniform that I had ever bought from the Cold War and out of any uniform that I've ever got, it was the first one that I've ever had. So I guess what I can really talk about with this one is to just make sure that you do your research because I was almost misled with my parade uniform into cutting the, co uh, not the collar tabs, the cuff tabs off into making it a service uniform because I was misinformed. So, like I'm saying, do your research, your research, your research, and then make sure that it's somebody who knows their stuff, and if, and if you feel like they're kinda like sketchy with the advice that they're giving you, do some research for yourself, cause that never hurts to do, and watch some documentaries and stuff like that. But Make sure that you do your research and know what you're getting into whenever you buy an East German uniform because some of them can get to be extremely expensive like this or a uh, like a, an officer's parade uniform where you, have, where you need the dagger, which is like the most expensive part, the egulet, and then the parade belt, and then the medals, depending on what you're doing. So that's that's my first tip. Now, my second tip for East German uniforms is your stern pack. A lot of people are going to get very confused and aggravated with the stern pack. I was once. So your stern pack, the entire point of it is to house your personal things, your your hygiene, you know, your shaving kit, your soap, your toothpaste, your toothbrush, porn, uh, hairbrush, uh, your mess kit, your utensils, your tent poles. And some people don't know that the, that the, the Stristan Zeltbahn that goes around your uh, stern pack doubles as a poncho and a tent. Hence the reason why you need tent poles. But if you plan on doing 
your stern pack along with your fuel uniform, which you don't have to do. It's kind of like a something that it's your choice because with basic infantry uniforms, instead of the stern pack being worn on the back of the suspenders, I would flip it around, but on the back of these suspenders right here, there are two D-rings. I'm pretty certain that you can see the outline there and there on both sides. So, but you wouldn't wear your stern pack with your basic infantry uniform. You would be wearing an SBA NBC suit, which is basically a, a chemical suit. It would either be an SBA one or an SBA two piece. So basically, if you if you see a listing for a um for a chemical suit that says SBA one, that means it's a one piece suit. If you see an SBA two, which you're kind of uncommon uh, to find you you'll really find SBA one gas suits but if you see an SBA two that means it's a two-piece so basically you wouldn't be really wearing your stern pack with your basic infantry uniform because your gas suit is going to be on the back of your suspenders uh, and then of course I don't have my gas pouch my gas mask bag I'm waiting on that to come in uh, but so that and then the stern pack there's two different stern packs there's a summer stern pack and then there's a winter stern pack your winter stern pack is gonna hold all your personal stuff but it's gonna have a wool like blanket that goes around your stern pack instead of what I have on it right now now also there's a summer stern pack which is what I have and then a winter stern pack. You can tell the two apart because the summer stern pack has no insulation and the winter stern pack has this like rubber, like greenish insulation to stop moisture from getting in and ruining all your stuff. So I'm not gonna get into what you would need for your winter kit. I'm gonna get into that on a, in a different video. Um, and also I apologize that the quality of my videos is terrible. What I'm using to record right now is my iPhone and I don't have anything else. All I'm using is my iPhone. I don't have a proper camera set up. I don't have a laptop. I don't have a video editing software. I don't have anything. The only thing that I have is a TV. So I don't, I don't really have a personal laptop uh, that I can use for myself and for things like this. So if the quality or something is wrong with my videos, I greatly apologize about that. I'm still trying to get some things out or like get some things figured out. So I apologize about that. But back to the Stern Pack. So like I said, there's two different Stern Packs. So with your summer Stern Pack, you really wouldn't be wearing that because that's usually gonna be in the back of the BMP or, like, the, the only reason why you would ever wear your summer stern pack is if you're moving barracks or something like that, or the squad is going off by their own with no assistance like that. Um, and then my third tip would be basically, I'll, I'll just come back and cover the stern pack in, in another video in the future, but not right now because this is going on 10 minutes. So... I, uh, for my third tip, my third and final tip would be make sure that you have your proper sizing done for your uniforms. So, when I first got my conscript parade uniform, it was a, it's a G52-0. I'm 5'8", around 5'7", or 5'8", um, and that doesn't fit me at all. The G52 does not fit me at all. My knuckles barely show from the, the sleeves. So make sure that you get the proper size done because it's going to be really, really, really irritating when you either have too big or too little pants or a tunic on. So those were my tips. I'll come back and cover this later on, but uh, that's really my, my tips for now. I'll be doing more videos like this in the future, uh, hopefully when I get all my like editing stuff situated out. Um, but yeah, those were my tips for this video. So thank you for watching and have a very nice day.